Dog people are weird, it's what we do. Hi guys, I am here for one last Christmas gift video. So today I'm gonna to show you what our dogs are getting for Christmas. They're definitely members of our family too, and so just like with Lucy's stocking, I kind of take this opportunity to get them some things that they needed anyway and, you know, do it cute and like Lucy will enjoy that Santa leaves stockings for the dogs too. And, you know, it's just tradition. <laughs> we did it in my family as kids for the dogs that we had in our, our house. I think even Matthew's family did it. Dog people are weird. It's what we do. So <laughs> let me show you their stockings. We got two new stockings this year. Um, obviously we got our German Shepherd Betty in June, so she didn't have a stocking from last year She's not a year old and we had a stocking for Howard our miniature schnauzer um, mix they're both mixes, but um, I Didn't like his stocking for two reasons one it was not like that Christmassy looking and two It faced the wrong direction every other stocking hung on my mantle faced one direction and his faced the other direction It drove me crazy. So we just got two new stockings so they match and they were like $4.96 or something at PetSmart. So just two cute little dog stockings. And it just says on their Christmas list, bones, bones, and more bones. But there they are, just two of the same. So for the most part, their stockings are going to be the same. And like I said, I'm just taking advantage of a time to get them some things they need. So each dog is in need of a new collar. Betty's is getting too small because obviously we got it when she was a puppy and she's still technically a puppy, but she's grown quite a bit in the last six months. And also it had like a little bow on it. It was all cute and feminine. And in playing, Howard has ripped the bow and it's like hanging and sad. And then Howard's collar, Betty actually takes off. I used to prefer the leather collars that kind of like, um, I don't know, they'd go like belts around your pants, you know, not instead of just like a clasp. And Betty can take that off of him. So he hasn't worn it since Practically, we got Betty because she takes it off all the time. So they're getting two new collars, a pink one for Betty and the exact same one in red for Howard. I just really like the way red looks against his black fur and pink because Betty's a big girl. She needs a little bit of something feminine. I don't know. I'm weird. But yeah, so they'll get two new collars. Each get a new collar. Then they will each get a new, well, two new toys. So this one will go in Betty's stocking. This is a deer horn. We have been buying the um, sticks that are the same brand and both dogs love it. Like everything, this is gonna go in Betty's stocking and Betty will probably use it the most, but they, they totally share, obviously. Um, anyway, so we figured we have like three sticks roaming around the house. We figured we'd try out the deer horn too. And so then in Howard's stocking, we'll go a pole rope. We've been meaning to get them one of these because they've started um, playing like with the stick even they'll try to play tug of war and they didn't have a rope so now they'll have a rope that one will go in Howard's stocking then two more toys and this one these ones kind of are more specific this one will go in Betty's so it's just like a crazy shaped ball and she can chew on it it does squeak if you push really hard I'm not gonna do that because my two-year-old is sleeping and I've got the dogs outside while I try to film this real quick and I don't want to bug either one of those and then we did get the pink one and it's like I say ball, but it's not, I don't know, it's just like a sphere. It's not quite a ball. Lots of stuff to chew on. Betty still really loves to chew, and she'll love that. And Howard is a dog who really loves plushy toys. He doesn't tear them apart. He likes to cuddle and snuggle with them, so he's going to get this green bear. He had a brown bear that just looked like a little kid's teddy bear that he had had for years, and Betty tore it apart. <laughs> he was a good sport about it. So we're going to try to give him a new one and try to keep this one away from Betty so that he can snuggle it and love it. Then for both dogs, we have a set of four tennis balls. So two will go in each dog's stocking. Howie likes to chase these some. Betty likes to chew on them like gum. Um, and she has some that squeak, but I end up taking those away a lot because they're so annoying. And she doesn't care that much about the squeak. She just likes to chew on them like, I don't know, exercise her gums or something. So she'll enjoy those. And then, what would a Christmas stocking be without some little treats? So they're getting little holiday cookies. These are the dog cookies from the pet store. And, you know, they'll be divided between each stocking. So, let me go ahead and stuff up the stockings and show you what they'll look like. 
Okay, so here they are. Here's Howie's and here's Betty's. Howie's definitely looks more full because his stuffed animal kind of sticks out the top, but you guys saw they're pretty even. Um, and so that's what we're gonna stick in the stockings for the dogs. Like I said, mostly just stuff they needed anyway, but it will be fun for, I mean, Lucy might not get it this year, but it's tradition for the dogs to get a little something for Christmas. So let me know if you guys are crazy too and bring in um, your pets for Christmas and make sure that they get a little something. My mom does Christmas sweaters every year for their dogs. I couldn't get Matthew on board for that one. I wanted to get like cute pajamas or something. He was not having it. But <laughs> that's what the dogs are getting for Christmas. I'm so excited that Christmas is less than a week away. I can't wait and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.